much, I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. In today's video, we're going to talk about how do we couple a tractor to work in tandem with a bulldozer. So that's what we're going to focus on today. Let's get to it. A lot of you have joined us on our live streams and you've seen previous videos here recently where we talk about renting this John Deere 450 for the month of February. It's going to be awesome. We're going to get a lot of work done, but there are some things that it can't do that the actual tractor can do. And so we're going to take Brutus, our Branson 5220, and we're going to put the Homestead grapple on the front and we're going to actually take the stumps out of the dirt piles, set them off separate. And then we'll be able to, to just use, keep that dirt if we're going to use it for topsoil or filler dirt or stuff like that. But then we can take the stumps out of it and burn those or bury those or do something with them. Besides Have a big bonfire. <laughs> Have a big old bonfire, <laughs> you know. But hey, they're lightered stumps, so they'll burn forever. <laughs> but anyway, so this is what we're going to do today. We're going to take the grapple. We're going to go get some stumps out of the pile that you have here. And then we're going to separate them. But let me show you what we've done with the dozer so far. So we've got about a three acre field up here that used to have planted pines on it and they harvested the pines when we moved in about, oh, it was it, Gina, four years ago or so, yep. something like that. And so now you can overlook here and you can see that we've got the pines harvested, but we had a lot of stumps left in the field. So we're using that bulldozer, that 450, to actually pop those stumps out. Some are coming up pretty easy. Some are making some big swimming pools, but <laughs> so a lot of you might be thinking, what are we doing with this? And what, what we're going to do is we're going to make Gina happy. You know what I see? <laughs> what do you see, Gina? I see thousands and thousands of sunflowers out there. Can no, can't you see it? Can y'all imagine three acres of sunflowers right here? But you know, awesome. we're a flower farm by trade. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to plant flowers up here. We'll get the soil amended and we'll get everything. Well, the plan is to put sunflowers up here. Whether or not that happens is another story. May, not maybe this year, maybe next year, but eventually this thing will be covered in sunflowers. I've got all this cleared. It took me one day to clear all this. I'm, I'm impressed. Listen, I'm getting I'm getting proficient at the bulldozer. <laughs> another day or two, I'm going to be a professional. Hey, when's my turn? <laughs> that's another, That's going to be another video. You guys want to see Gina on the bulldozer? Of course. <laughs> of course you do. Of course you do. It's going to be yeah. so fun. Will you do it? Will you do it? Absolutely. Okay, yeah, all right. So you want me to leave the trees for Heck you? Heck yeah, I can't wait. All right. What I don't know how to do, there's a couple things I don't know how to do. I don't know how to kind of level it like I would with a bucket. So I've got to, I've got to practice that. I know the theory behind it, but I don't know how to do it, so to speak. So let me ask you a question. What you got? So I know the bucket has like a float option. Yeah. Does the blade do the same so. thing? I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. If it does, if it does, I haven't found that yet. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, but I will say that uh, it's it's suit the dozer does a I mean you couldn't do this with a bucket at all I mean you know what I mean so we got it all cleared out but what I can, what the dozer can't do that the Branson and the Homestead Grapple can do is get these stumps and separate them and that's what we're gonna get we're gonna get started on that we won't it won't take us long we'll grab a couple we'll put them in a separate pile and we will get to it all right you ready babe sweet all right. Let's do it. I'll pick apart these these stumps out of these dirt piles here and just stump them over here. There's five, six, seven more that, that left to do. But I mean, all you gotta do with that grapple, that grapple allows all that dirt to fall through them. And so you just pick them up, you just take them over there and they're good to go. After you comb through it, you get out what you want. 
now your dirt is ready to either get put away somewhere else. Or, you know, Brandel's got a dump trailer we may borrow, put a pile of dirt somewhere that we can access or spread it, spread it back out over the property. Wait a minute. I just had an idea. What? I just had an idea. What you got? Why don't we just carry them out there in the middle and I'll call and get a burn permit tomorrow. We'll just burn them. You just want them out in the middle? Yeah, just put them in a pile okay. out there. All right. Cool. Hey, I didn't realize that one was uh, a lot longer than it was. I see another one down in there too. Yeah, that's a big stump. Yeah, we might as well just pile them up and burn them. I was just going to tell you there's a hole over there, so be careful when you go to grab those. Okay, I'm, yeah, there's like four or five I need to grab over there. Okay. I mean, we wouldn't want Hank to get stuck again. <laughs> Trees, they have huge tap roots. That's a big old log. Now what's important is that once you get all these stumps and stuff like this, you want to shake out as much dirt as possible so that the dirt doesn't hamper the fire, the dirt doesn't hinder the fire when you start to uh, make, your, make your burn pile. Dirt's not good for your fire, so shake it out. And you lost it. <laughs> Trying to give him hand signals here. You lost your stump. There you go. Close it. Close it. I think that one, that one stump, is, there you go. It was sideways in there, keeping it from closing.
That sun is blinding me. Yeah. What we're going to do, like I, we just, I don't know if you heard that in the cab or not, but shaking that dirt out is super, super important. So that yeah. we got a couple more to pick up on this pile. And then we've got, well, I'll sift through that pile again and, and see what we've got going around. So let's grab these two. We haven't picked up anything heavy today. So that's not really, big. you don't think that well, one, not, not for, big one was heavy right there. Not in, not in, you know, according to Brutus and Homestead standards. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's get a couple more. And then we got a couple more to do to add to this pile. And then I got something else I need to talk to y'all about right quick. This really does look good. I know you guys can't appreciate it because you didn't see it when we first moved here. This is literally um, a stand of pine trees, just rows and rows and rows and rows of pine trees. To see it like this all cleared, this is wonderful. Oh, he's, he's waving at me. Come film me, come film me. I did not notice was how this drops off. I had no idea that it dropped off like that. Ooh. That is an interesting creature. What the heck is that? Must be like the root ball from the underneath side. Can you guys see that? Well, have you ever wondered what the bottom side of a tree stump looked like? I know. I was just saying how crazy that was. Yeah, that's crazy. Then I realized that it was Upside the down. underneath side yeah. of an oak tree. Yeah, that's pretty neat, ain't it? Mm -hmm. We got this little small pile here, and I think that that's the plan. I think we're going to do several small piles. That way they'll burn faster, or we'll add to a pile that's already burning if it burns fast enough. Uh, once we start seeing it get, you know, the hotter it gets or whatever, we can just add to it. That that won't be a problem neither. So we'll get this stuff burned up. And uh, I've heard people talk about potash. And that may make the soil more fertile or add nutrients to the ground. You know, the ash that's from these burnt stumps. So I'm, I'm interested to hear you guys take on that because I, it would be nice to get this nice and fertile, if you will. Right, Gina? Yeah, absolutely. Certainly can't hurt. Yeah, I don't think so neither. Hey, you guys, take care. We'll catch you on the next one. God bless.